MP to all cars. Armed robbery on security vehicles Julian now. Four to MP. All men. Of watch. Zero to one MP. Disturbance in High Street. Gang of youths MP fighting with knives. One Request one. assistance over. Suspects on premise. Nine. Three. Two. <clears throat> CID, Sergeant Harrison. Tally here. We're in now. Sergeant Dean and DC Tally reporting. OK. It's locked, and good luck with it. Thanks, Sarge. Right, Tully, this is the procedure. No lights anywhere. This window is mine, and that one is yours. And when it gets dark, I don't want you knocking over the tripod. This camera will cost you a couple of months' wages. <laughs> uh, can you pass me the lens? It's in my bag over there. Oh, sure. What, this one? Yeah, the big one. Oh, telescopic. That must be worth a bit as well. Yeah. Well, we've got a good view from here. Right across and into their flat. Yeah. Now, the window on the left is the hall one. The other one gives on to the study. Here, give me a hand with this tripod. Yeah. Now, we'll set it up so that it can cover the first floor and the street entrance below. Yeah. You specialise in photography, do you? Yeah. Best to be a specialist. No, I thought of taking up fingerprints. Decided on photography. What, easy life? Well, until your pictures don't come out. Or you miss something, and then they have your guts. Right, that should do. What now? Get out your notebook, log the time, and keep watch. OK. On watch, 8.35. Expected about nine, aren't they? Oh, between nine and ten. Yeah. And they usually stay until midnight. We clock who's coming and going and take pictures. What, night? Easy. Infrared film. These Japanese jobs turn night into day. Oh. Right, camera loaded already. Now, you're on the first watch till midnight. I'm going to have a little lie down on the camp bed. <sighs> What's it all about, Sarge? How long are we here for? Who knows? Could be a day, could be a week. We'll find out. Mm. Not a bad place, this. I mean, for spending a week. Well, it's better than my flat. And what about that kitchen? It's got all the gear, microwave oven, everything. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't mind one of those. Not on a DC's pay, eh? <laughs> no. Someone was telling me you'd been off sick. An accident, wasn't it? It was no accident. What then? I was taking a bread knife from this nutter from Broadmoor, wasn't I? I said, give it to me, pal. And he gave it to me, all right. Right in the gut. Nasty. Well, you live and learn. Ended up with two weeks in hospital, a month's sick leave and a commendation. Are you all right now? Yeah, yeah, healed up nicely. Good. Right, let me know if anything happens over there. OK. Excuse me, sir, can I have a word? Come in, Dave. How's it going? Well, Tully settled in uh, with the photographer. Who? Sergeant Dean. Did they have any trouble? No, we found an empty flat, got the agent to spread it about that a young couple were interested and that the husband and friend were going to be in and out making a few alterations. So no one will bother them? No, it shouldn't do. How strong's your information, sir? Very strong. My informant says a team's being set up for a big robbery, and it's happening very soon. Mm, interesting to see who turns up. Mm. How are Tully and Dean off for food? Well, they've got enough for tonight, but I'll be taking some along to them in case it's a long job. Do that. And let me know how things are going. Yes, sir. Sarge. Sarge, wake up. Mm? There's someone at the door. Oh. Well, see who it is. I can't leave the window. I'm on watch. It's only ten o'clock. Oh, I must have dropped off. OK, I'll go. Oh, hello, Dave. Evening, Pete. Come in. Watch yourself in the dark. It's Sergeant Brook. Hi. Sarge. Nothing happened yet? Nothing yet. Mm. No movement? Not much. Posh flats, just a little bit of coming and going. Yeah. Tully? I've been keeping the log, Sarge. First movement was 9.16. Old lady taking her dog for a walk. Then 9.28, an Audi 2000 drives up. Woman and three kids get out. 9.36, the old lady returns with dog. That's it. Mm. If they're expected between 9 and 10, they're running late. Well, it's still time. Here, look, I've got some food for you for tomorrow. Oh, oh Tar. There's a fridge in the kitchen. Show him, Tully. I'll keep watch. This way, Sarge. And don't forget, door shut before you put the lights on. OK, Sergeant. Mm. 
Some kitchen. All the gear. Yeah. Ceramic hob, microwave oven. Ah, oh, that'll be handy. This is the kind of stuff you bung in there. Steak pie, chicken pie, burgers. Oh, don't go on, Sarge. You're making me hungry. You've got a cushy number here, Tully. Posh kitchen, smart flat, good food. What more do you want? Some knives and forks, if you've got to bring them. Tough. Until I find some, you have to eat with your fingers. Dave! Hey, up. Light off, Tully. Right, let's see what he wants. Yeah, some action opposite the car pulling up. You see? The silver jag, it's just arrived. Yeah, three blokes getting out. Do you know them? No, it's difficult to tell. Get the pictures. Right. They get out of the car. One talks to the driver. I know that one. They go into the building. The jag gone off pretty smart. Did we get his number? Yes, Sarge. It's a Y registration. Now we check if they go up to the flat. Dead opposite, Sarge. See? The windows with the curtains open. Yeah. Let's hope it stays like that. Right, we give them time to go up in the lift. And if they're going to our flat, it should be about now. You're right, Sarge. The lights come on in the hall. A woman's going to the door. And who's she let in? You want a shot of them? If you can get it, yeah. Damn. The woman's moved between me and the door. Too late. They've gone into a back room. Oh, well, it's early days. Better luck next time. What are they up to, Dave? Put us in the picture. Well, the flat across there is owned by a Mr Michelson. Mr Roach has had a tip that he's active again. What's his speciality? Well, Michelson, he's a back room boy, a planner, big backer of some heavy crime. Mostly he's after money, big money. We don't know what he's into this time. It could be a security job, bank, something bigger. But that's why we're here. The tip says he's recruited a team of five. The meetings are held at his flat and the black will be soon. What we want to know is who they are and if it's all fixed. You said six. Three more to come? Well, we think so, yeah. But you've got to keep watching and tell us and try and get a picture of them in that room with Michelson. And if they don't use that room? Well, we'll have to think again. Well, let's hope we get lucky. Well, you've got what you want and you know what to do. So I'm off. If anything happens, let me know. CID, Sergeant Harrison. Oh, I see, sir. Could I have your name and address? Jim. Uh, can you hold the line a minute, please, sir? Sorry to interrupt. Uh, can you do me a favour? What? A Jaguar. I need to know who owns it. Here's the number. Will do. Oh, uh, Mr Roach is waiting for you. Oh, it's up. Sorry to keep you waiting, sir. Now, if I could have your name and address. Come in, Dave. Any joy? Yes, sir. Something's on the move. What? Well, just after ten, three men arrived in a jag. When they crossed the pavement, their backs were to me, but one turned to say something to the driver. His head was down, but it looked like Billy Williams. Interesting. Any ideas about the other two? No. They went to see Michelson? Well, we can't be sure about that. The three went in on the ground floor, and somebody went into Michelson's flat on the first floor a minute later. But we don't know if it was them or just a coincidence. Mm. It could have been Williams. Yes, sir. Well, that's the start. If anything happens, uh, Tully will phone. Sergeant, get a load of this. What's up? Are they leaving now? No, something else. Come and have a look. Oh. See? The two lads standing by the car. They're going to nick it. You sure? Of course they are. Empty street just after midnight. You watch them. See what I mean? <laughs> it's funny how they behave when they think they can't be seen. Just like candid camera. The tall one's looking this way and that way. <laughs> now he gives the all clear to his mate. The mate moves forward. Yeah, and... tries a door handle. Yeah. It's locked. So he walks past. Now the other one's coming over with a piece of tube. Look at him. He's breaking the door handle. Bloody amateurs. I'm going to report them. You can't do that. I'm not letting a couple of Berks just... Forget it, lad. It isn't our business. Stolen cars are for beat bobbies. Your CID. On observation, you don't break your cover. All right, Sarge. It just gets up my nose, Yeah, though. well, forget it and come and look. Now they got in the car and they're driving off. That car belongs to the lady with the three kids. It did? No, it doesn't. I'll use it for a joyride and probably wrap it round a lamppost. We should have done something about it. Yes, but it's too late. Hey, up, some action opposite. Movement in the hall. Lights come on. The woman, followed by a man. Here we go. The man's looking for something. Picks up a book. Both to leave the room. Light goes off. And that's it. The visitors must have gone. Here comes the jag. It stops. The three men appear. Oh, that was good timing. Yeah. The jag drives off. And the party's over. What time is it? Uh, ten minutes past midnight. Do you think anything more will happen? Well, oh, I don't know. We keep watching. It's what the boss said. You get some kip and I'll do the next trick. Thanks. Ah, oh, Dave. 
Yes, Mr. Wright. This is Inspector Wade of Crime Intelligence. Morning, sir. Morning, Sergeant. A first batch of photographs have come, and Inspector Wade has something to tell us. Go ahead, Bill. Well, nine pictures were taken last night, three in the front room of the flat. Pretty good definition. Yeah. They show a man and a woman. The man is Michelson. And the woman is Sylvia Roberts. Mm. It's his flat and they live together. Doesn't tell us anything. It means we can get pictures of anyone in that room. If we're lucky. Here's the next batch. This one shows three men getting out of a car. This one, two going into the building. Mm. Backs of heads only. And this one's better. Man talking to the driver. He's Billy Williams. You were right, Dave. Yeah. And the last batch shows the three leaving the flats full face. We know them. They're Billy Williams, Joseph Baines and Jerry Davies. They're from three different firms. They haven't worked together before. Mm. They're all strong armed men. Shotguns and GBH, that kind of thing. Mm. So whatever the job, it'll be somewhere they have to scare the staff or scare the public. But heavies aren't enough on their own. They need a bit of skill and a driver. And my info says a team of six. Dave, mind the shop. Right. I'm going to have a chat with my bloke. Oh, and Bill. Hmm? I'll see Eleven to keep an eye on these three. And tell us who they're meeting. Right. OK, sir. Sorry, Mr Roach. I didn't know if I'd make it on time. OK, Steve. Get in. Whew. I don't have a lot of time, Mr Roach. Nor do I, Steve. What's the hurry? I'm working. Things are looking up. I'm working afternoons. It's a warehouse job. I'm expected to be there by half one. Well, you've got time to talk to me. Is there anything more about that job? Nah, just that there's something big on the way and Markelson's putting up the cash. Well, you're right, Steve. Three villains have been calling on him this week. If you could tell me who, it might help. OK. They're spread out a bit. Baines, Williams and Davis. Jerry Davis? You sure? Yes. Well, if it's him, I can put another name in the frame for you. Jack Carver. Who? Oh? Yeah. He's the driver and Jerry won't work without him. Carver's good. And Jerry knows he'll get away safe and fast with him. Can you keep close to Carver? Well, it won't be easy, Mr Roach. Try. OK. He drinks in a club with Davis and plays darts in the Red Lion. Stay close, Steve. If you hear anything, anything at all, you phone. The governor's taking an interest. So there could be a nice little drink in it for you. Thanks, Mr Roach. Right. Now it's ten past one. Where do I drop you? Corner of Pelham Street. I'm working in that big warehouse there. Packing. Dave, Jim, let's have you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Close door. What's new? Well, we've come up with the owner of the car that took him to the flat the other night. Belongs to Williams. It's a pity. They're not taking chances with Nick cars. He bought it two months ago. £15,000 in cash. Well, they're not hard up for a penny, are they? No, none of them are. Are you sure you didn't know who was driving it? Got the Jag? Yeah. You said Williams had a word with the driver. We couldn't see him properly, sir. Well, you get this. Any car bringing villains to the flat, I want to know who's driving. Jim? Sir? We're having our villains watched on their home ground to see who they're meeting. So if you get any calls... Yes, sir. What about Tully and Dean? All they have is the first night's pictures, no more callers. I mean, maybe Michelson's worked it all out, sir. And they're ready for the off. It can't be. Not yet. Here's your supper, Sarge. And a nice cup of tea. No, not burgers again. We had those for lunch. Best I could do, Sarge. You hadn't fiddled with that microwave. Yeah, I pressed the wrong setting, didn't I? Yeah, but three goes to get it right. And all the meat pies ruined. Yeah, sorry, Sarge. Yeah, what about all the knives and forks? <laughs> I think they've forgotten us. Yeah, you could be right. Oh, well. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Mm. <sighs> How much longer? Coming up for ten, and as quiet as the grave. People over there stay home all night. Yeah, it's a laugh, isn't it? Place we're supposed to be crawling with villains coming and going. And in three nights, what have we had? One visit by villains, two pictures of the girlfriend going shopping. Nice pictures. Oh, yeah, of course. And three of Michaelson nipping out for a newspaper. Ah, it's what surveillance is all about, old son. Wasting your time. Hey, up. Looks like we're back in business. What? Our friends are back. That silver jack just pulling in. Right. They're getting out. Three of them again. No, wait. Four of them. And not all the same. It's the same car, so we take pictures. You'll have to be quick. They're not hanging around. Across the pavement and into the lobby and they're gone. Oh, terrific. Some arty shots at the back of their heads and that's it. I like going on in the hall opposite. 
Sylvia Roberts opening the door. Same old routine. Some people go in, and they go into another room. All light goes out. And that's it. Now we wait until they leave. Yeah. It's too much. The pace is killing me. (laughs) (laughs) You married, Tully? Hey? Uh, Not yet. Going steady? In this job? You're kidding. No regular at all? Well, one, I suppose. Called Cathy. But when you get too much night work, Mm, well... They don't like it. (laughs) Yeah. Hey, look. The hall lights come on again. And someone's going into the study. It's Michelson and one of the other blokes. He closes the door. And they're having a private talk. Looks serious, doesn't it? Yeah, special. The other bloke is doing all the spieling and Michelson is nodding. Fishing in his pocket and passing something across. What? Ah, I couldn't see. Oh, well, I've got a few shots of it. Now they're finished. Leave the room. And light goes out. The hall light's still on. And the others are coming into it. Looks like the meeting's breaking up. Short and sweet. Yeah. And here comes the jag. And now the men come out of the lobby and into the street. They time it well. And this time, we've got their faces front on. Yeah. Let's hope it's what we want. Corin? Oh, morning, Mr Roche. Morning, Bill. Anything new? Second batch of photos here. Any good? The arrival pictures are not much use. Mm. Do we know who the driver was? Yeah, he's called Carver. Jack Carver. Yeah, that fits. Now, this batch, taken as they left, show the four visitors, full mm. face. Williams again. That one's Jim Duggan. That one, Ken Taylor. And the last one? He isn't known to us. It's been shown around the yard, not known. Do you know, sir? No. But we have to know him, don't we? Mm. We have to have a name. Yes, sir. Michelson's building a nice little team. Three heavies who will bulldoze their way through. Duggan is a sergeant major who will see that the job runs as planned. Taylor is the lookout. And Carver is the best getaway driver this side of the river. Depends what the job is, sir. Yes, it does, doesn't it? Last set of photos, sir. Seems Michelson took one of them aside. Front room. Had a private talk. Have a look. The unknown man. Yes, sir. He does the talking. Michelson listens. And this shot shows him passing something over. But what? We've had that section of the picture blown up and it's not clear. The nearest thing it looks like is a bunch of keys. Mm. Inspector Wade? Yes, he's here. Uh, Someone for you. Oh, thank you. Hello, Inspector Roach. It's Steve, Mr Roach. I've got something for you. What? It's about that job. This is the real stuff. I must see you. I'll pick you up in 20 minutes. Corner of the High Street and Bridge Street. So let's hear it, Steve. It's on for Thursday. Where? It's a bank. Special delivery on Thursday morning. Wages for factories and holiday money. More than half a million, they reckon. I've written it all down. How did you get this? You said to stay close. I got caught up in it, Mr Roach. I need your help. What help? If you read it, you'll see. They're using a Ford Truckman for the job and a Vauxhall for the changeover. Carver asked if I'd do them a favour. What favour? We'll handle the changeover. Wait until they arrive. You said yes. Well, what could I do? Ah, and now you're in it. Up to your neck. I'm asking for help. Well, let's have it. What have you promised to do? Well, they're going to hit this bank when the security van makes a special delivery to the bank at opening time. And you? At the same time, not earlier and not later, I park the Vauxhall Estate in Elvin Street. Mm. It's just under a mile away. A quiet street, but it has three ways out. I park it and wait. It's the changeover vehicle. And you'll drive it for them? No, Carver will drive it. I'll just wait until they arrive. All right. Now, here's what you do. Don't wait. Park it and walk away. Yeah, but... Now, have a look at this photo. Who do you know? All of them. Well, go on. Billy Williams, Jim Duggan, Jack Carver, and that one's Ken Taylor. And the fifth? I don't know him, but he's the inside bloke. Works for the security firm. The security firm? Seen him often? Twice, that's all. In the pub. It's why Jack said it was a pushover. Inside stuff. The big delivery. You will help me, Mr Roach. I'll have a squad in Elvin Street. Just don't be there. Thanks, Mr Roach. Jim, ask Inspector Wade to come to my office and come back with him, will you? Yes, sir. Dave, let's have you. Aye, sir. 
Ah, oh, Dave. Yeah. Uh, we're nearly there. Give Tully and Dean one more night at that flat and then call them off. The job's for Thursday. We have it all here. Ah, oh, Bill. Jim. Sir. Right, it's beginning to come together. Have a look at the map. On our patch, on the corner here, a bank. You all know it. Thursday morning at 9.30, a security van will pull up. Wages and holiday money for the factories around here. Delivery is precisely timed. Everyone at the alert. When the money arrives, the bank doors will open. Security van will then be unlocked, cash unloaded. Now, at the same time... Roach here. The commander is free now, sir. He's waiting. Right, I'm on my way. Uh, stay here, will you? It shouldn't take a second. Just uh, read that when I'm away, will you? Um. Oh, come in, Chief Inspector. Sit down. Oh, thanks, sir. I've read your report. Ah, oh, yes, right. Uh, we've now identified the inside man at the security company. Mm. His name's Harris, sir. He's a transit clerk responsible for the movement of the security loads. What steps have you taken? Well, I've informed the headquarters of the bank, sir, and the branch manager. Mm -hmm. In the matter of the security firm, I've said nothing. Any move by us would become known to Harris. So you propose to let it run? Well, with the precautions explained in my report. If they don't do it this time, it'll be another, sir. And this time we have a charge against Michelson. How many men will you need? Forty men, sir. Thirty on the operation and ten for emergency. Your report says three men with shotguns. You want arms? As a standby, yes, sir. I'll leave it with me. Thank you, sir. Right, then, that's it. You've all made your notes? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, your first duty is to take care of the public, to assure them and keep them out of danger. And to the officers assigned to deal with the villains, I repeat that the action must be sudden and sharp. No hesitation and no mistakes. I'll be at the operation desk inside the bank and in radio touch with Sergeant Harrison, who will be telling them. Right, that's all. Amber from Amber One. Amber from Amber One. Are you receiving? Amber receiving. Go ahead. The meeting is on. Should be with you in five minutes. Thank you, Amber One. Out. Means they should be about here. So he picked them up as they came onto Northbridge Road. Five minutes to go. Everyone in position, Dave? Yes, sir. The manager's waiting for your signal to open the main doors. He opens them when the security van pulls up. Not a second before. And when he opens, you go out like one of the bank staff. Why don't we just bottle the villains in their trucks, sir? Because at that moment, they'll be tensed up. Masks on, guns loaded. They'll think you're the security guards and blast you away. Let them leap out and then grab them. Tully? Sir? Are the bank staff undercover? Yes, sir. The yeah, security van should be getting close. Stand by the window. Yes, sir. Four minutes. Amber to Amber One. Are you running to time? Going by the clock, no trouble. The security van's in sight, sir. Dave, no. alert the manager and wait for my signal. Security van's pulling in now, sir. The guards are out and standing around the van, looking at the door, waiting for us to open. Amber One. Go ahead. You're not going to believe this. A lorry has stalled on the bridge. Will you repeat? Over. A lorry has stalled on the bridge. Is it bad? We're stuck and so is the truck. Send a DC to help. Get it moving and keep in touch. Roger. The security van is waiting, sir. Have they unlocked yet? No, sir. What looks like the senior security man is checking his watch and coming to the door. It's 9.30. Dave. Yeah? Drag your feet a bit. Have the doors opened. Pretend you're one of the staff and ask them to wait at you. Yes, sir. Amber, one to Amber. Amber, go ahead. We're moving now, sir, but slowly. And the truckman's still ahead of us. How long until you're here? I reckon four minutes. Oh, it'll be too late. Too late. Dave. What's happening out there? Well, I talked to them, but I can't stall them any longer. They don't take orders from bank staff. They're going to unload. They don't hang about. Bags are being carried in now, sir. We need four minutes. They could be locked up and gone by then. Dave, I've got 40 men out there keyed up wondering what's happened. The commander will have my scalp. What if you don't score? We have to score. Last bag's coming in, sir. They're getting ready to lock the van. OK, Tully, let them go. And keep your eyes on the traffic from the bridge. When you spot the truckman, tell me. Yes, sir. Dave. Yeah? We've got to figure this again. Coming towards us are five villains, all cooped up in a traffic jam, knowing it's now too late. They'll have hidden their guns, the adrenaline will have drained away at their lowest ebb. Take a squad and surprise them. What, in the traffic, sir? Find one of our uniformed men. Get him into that jam to sort out the truckman. Filter it off into that side street just beyond the bridge. All right, Brooke? Yes, sir. Then go. You've got three minutes and I want them. Excuse me, sir. What's the matter, officer? 
Nothing but trouble this morning, sir. Well, we soon have it sorted. If you'll just go to the left of that car ahead of you, you'll be out of it. Oh, thanks. What did he say, Jack? Traffic cop. Says we'll be out of it soon. That bloody time. All this for nothing. Keep your hair on. Morning, Mr. Carver. Pull over, will you? Who says? Police. What? What's happening? Don't move in there. We're more bandit. We're armed and you're next side. Stay in there. Stay inside. Come on. That's it, sir. Five in the cells and Michelson and Harris are being brought in now. What's the charge, sir? Not the one we'd hoped for. Caught with the cash, but it'll do. Conspiracy to steal. With Michelson, will it stick? Like superglue. It's all here, isn't it? Five villains taken in the van with this lot, three shotguns, two pick handles and masks. Then we have the photos of the meeting at Michelson's flat, and most important, photos of the meeting with James Harris. Let me know when they're both brought in. 